what's going on guys today I'm going to show you how to change the crank angle sensor on your car so the crank angle sensor on my car is making noise on the Skyline R34 and what it does is it makes like a ticking sound like this like kind of like that like it's like a loud ticking sound it doesn't do it all the time I mean it was doing it quite a bit and my car almost stalled out when I was driving so it's I think it's time I change it first I thought maybe something was wrong with my timing then I thought it was a lifter, but uh, I took the old uh, crank angle sensor off and uh, I slapped it around a bit and I put it back in and the noise was gone. And it still takes sometimes when I'm in traffic, when I'm stopped, but when I'm driving at a continuous speed, it goes away. So once I hit about 2000 RPMs, the sound is completely gone. So I'm going to change that out because I think it's going to go out completely and then my car might not start so I'm going to change that right now to show you guys how to do it too. okay so the first thing I'm going to do is mark the new crank angle sensor and the old one so there's a spot I found on the new crank angle sensor that's and there's one the old crank angle sensor too is this spot right here so I'm going to mark it with a gold sharpie on this and then I'm going to do the same thing for here but, but I'm going to mark it onto the car so I put the crank angle sensor on the same spot it can't be in a different way because it can mess up the timing of the car so I'm gonna mark this one right here I'm gonna mark it on the car too so I know exactly where I got it off from it's marked and that's marked too next thing I'm gonna do is remove the wiring harness for it And once that is out, I'm going to remove three screws. One's right here, one's here, and then one's going to be at the bottom there. And it's a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm going to remove that and then this comes out. Now with a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to carefully take it out without moving it like clockwise or counterclockwise. And then just pull that out just like that. And now I have to turn this thing on the new crank angle sensor the same way as it is turned on this and then i can fit it into the car so i'm gonna do that right now all right so i plugged the new crank angle sensor in to root it in now i'm gonna turn roll for and hopefully it works and hopefully the sound is on it's a little tricky getting it back in there all right guys so the crank angle sensor is in the car started off fine right now no check engine lights no nothing I'm not making that sound either. Uh, I have to drive it around a bit, make sure it's actually used. I'll probably take it to the gas station and pull her up and see how she rides there. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, crank angle sensors on some cars are really tricky. I mean, it is tricky on Skyline R34 for sure because you gotta put it in back the same way you took it out. So I'm driving the car right now and it's driving fine a little smoother and didn't, and uh, it didn't try stalling or anything like that uh, not yet so that's a good sign I'm gonna drive it for another five or ten minutes and see what it does